What's going on, everyone? It's the Gim Podcast here today. Um, I'm your host, Lee. We've also got another host, Christian, with our special guest for the first pilot episode, Matt Hughes. And Adam, my dog. And also Christian's dog, Abby, who's joining us in the room at the moment. Um, so, yeah, not really sure how this one's going to go. Just a pilot, sort of more like a test, if anything. And, um, yeah, I suppose we'll just go from there. Sort of get the ball rolling, Matt. How have uh, you been since high school? Uh, mate, I've been pretty good, actually. Uh, done a film course at Swinburne. Uh, done that for a year and a half, learned a whole lot of the film business pretty much, ranging from your post-production process to cameras, lighting, script writing, um, character backgrounds, pretty much anything you name in the film industry I've done. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's sort of like almost um, took off from media, back when media yeah. used to do that in high school, so you yeah. sort of continued on. Down yeah. that pathway and still interested in all that. Yeah, I did, yeah, because I started my media studies in high school. Uh, it was actually back in year nine, my first class for media. And um, I've always had a passion for filmmaking, pretty much. So um, from then on, from year 10, continued the media studies. 11, studied. 12, and then I actually redone my year 12 on again because yeah, I, three, I just I loved it so much. And then I managed three, to. Three, four media, Mr. Much, Crowley. Yeah. Alex Frost, shout out, <laughs> just listening. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, then I actually done my sequel to the film I'd done the previous year called The Quest. So then I ended up doing The Quest 2, The Road to Manhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a legendary. Yeah, great classic ones there. Are we, get, are we getting a journey, The Quest? My bad. The, the Journey 3. <laughs> <laughs> the Quest 3, Husey. Uh, look, that has <laughs> been in production when I first started at Swinburne. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was in its early days. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't be there for most of it, so I got my assistant, um, you can more or less say my camera operators, to come in and help. They actually shot the um, the actual hike for the third film, ah. um, and it didn't turn out as good as we hoped, so I actually put a halt on the production. Um, one thing that most people don't really know about The Quest 3 was it was going to be split up into two parts. So oh, there, was, this guy. there was part one and part two. Jeez, you're milking the franchise, <laughs> yeah. you're milking the franchise. Uh, just wants a cash cow there. Yeah, no <laughs> shit, Yeezy. I mean, it was like, the people, people who have seen the Quest 1 and 2 back then, it was only a school project. So, you know, we only had like a minimum film time, like a running time for it. So... Obviously, I didn't want it to be 10 minutes long. I wanted it to be, you know, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you know, so they always get a, like, a bigger scale of what it's actually about. Um, but mainly the biggest part of it was the actual hike in, in um, the wilderness, really. I love the quest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the quest. But no, have you seen, when was the last time you saw Crowley? Um, I actually drove past him uh, yes. last week. Last week, <laughs> yeah, he, he was he was outside of the old um where where, where he always smokes outside oh, of school and uh, you know he's uh, he's a uh, like his coffee and oh smoke. so you drove past the paint yeah. place and around the roundabout. Yep. Yeah. And he's uh he's you know standing there and he <laughs> one one hand on and so his head. Yeah, actually, um, that's funny because I was on the train home from uni one day, and I always look out at that little area. Just make sure yeah. Crowley's there, or if he is there or not. And he was there. Yeah. So what I did was just, um, because I parked my car at the station, so I walked over to that part and, uh, you know, I ambushed him. <laughs> did you? And yeah, I, found, yeah, I was just like, <laughs> Crowley, you son of a bitch. <laughs> How you going? How's he going? Yeah, yeah, I talked to him. Yeah, he's going good. Yeah. Dude, he's in the library now. Oh, what? He's a librarian. Is, is he still like the media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's on that. And then I think before that, um... I think it might have been earlier this year, me, Brandon Anderson and Ben Tom, mm-hmm. we went into the high school, got our guest pass, and then chatted to him and Robbo for about oh, an nice. hour. And they should go see him. Go yeah, see I remember him. to see um, Mr. Lyons as well. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. him? Yeah. But no, not off the top of no, no. He's a guy with long but, hair, isn't he? Yeah, a guy with long hair and he has like two fingers yeah, 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 c- yeah. cut off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's a top geezer. Top geezer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty good, actually. Yeah. It wasn't a, yeah. It wasn't like a Crowley's level nah. of godness. But he was, was no, a pretty yeah, good he guy. Like, yeah. He's a pretty good guy. Well, we're uh, sort of, I suppose, on the subject of movies and all that. Have, oh, you, guys seen, nice. have you guys seen Thor? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's good you'd have, actually. Yeah. No, that's good. Oh, also, Did you? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen it. 
I was gonna say, like, in all seriousness, like, I always find uh, Marvel sort of like movies a bit more. I suppose like you'd say a bit more like family friendly and like I was going with the jokes and all that. But I'm not even kidding. Like I'm not a big Thor person. Like just looking at the poster now, Thor and Hulk are probably like the least two that interest me. Like in all seriousness. But I'm gonna say Thor three was awesome. Yeah. Like, I yeah, actually was... really enjoyed Thor three. Fuck. There was one thing that annoyed me about it though. It was the freaking um. Like it actually just made me want to kill myself. Which is <laughs> <sounds exactly right. laughs> Jesus. But like uh. No, it was just like that Kiwi accent on that oh, alien yeah. side. Oh, yeah. Because that's the director. That was the director. Yeah, that, yeah. that was the director. It's just like, it felt so like out of place, I felt like. That was like the only bad thing about it, though. Mm. It was pretty really unexpected. Like, when that came across, like, at first I was like, oh, this could be interesting to see how this goes. Like, I myself didn't mind it. Like, and I've sort of been like trying to mimic it, like, when I've been on PlayStation. Like, it's the just, Kiwi accent. Yeah, I'm always like, hey, dog. <laughs> like, and all that. Which is, like, it's, it's just a bit of fun. Um, like, have you got NZ in your game attack? But nah, 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 nah that's not that's nah. not true character. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I actually really enjoy it and all that. And like, even the um after like post credit scene and stuff, <coughs> um, I thought that was pretty enjoyable. What was, um, little, what was the post credits? Uh, it was sort of like it I think was... it's like Thanos's ship. I think yeah, yeah like they run into. Was it Thanos's ship? I don't know. Well, I think so. Like, I thought it's it was just yeah. a really big ship. I thought it was the it's same like... ship that um. Have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. yes. You know the ship that that Ronan guy. Flies and it's got like the square, yeah, and it's got the wings. I thought it was that type of ship. So the Kree ship. First off, I thought because I think that's the I think that's like the Kree. Oh, Is that I think okay. that's what might link. Yeah, the Thor and Guardians yeah. together, which would be I pretty. I mean, the fast. one thing I'm looking forward to, because I actually watched uh, on Facebook actually a list of all the films that are coming out in 2018. Yeah, and Infinity you know they done Infinity War. They showed Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, and, that's um, gonna be sick. They show, well. they show like the Black Panther as well, so you know he's gonna have ties into the Avengers somehow. Do you like Ant Man? I I saw it. Um, wasn't really my. Oh, it wasn't really his yeah. cup of tea there. Yeah. Not so really. Paused. I liked it. It was. I thought um, it was awesome. I quite enjoyed it. That was one of the better ones. Do enjoy Paul yeah. Rudd as an actor. Though. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I thought like he was pretty good for that role. Like back to four, four, three. I think that was probably the best Marvel movie. I quite, yeah. Because that was really, better than Guardians. Apparently it's the best Thor yet, and out of all the Marvel Cinematic U- Universe so far, it's actually the best. It's top yeah. the gross amount. Th- that was better than, um yeah, Guardians 2, which is pretty good. And Spider-Man, mm. I don't know, Spider-Man wasn't that good. I don't mind Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, the new Spider-Man, new coming of age, I no. guess. I don't know, I thought, like, the actor was alright and stuff. Like, I don't know, have you guys seen the Justice League movie yet? No. No, have you seen okay, it? Yeah, I've seen it. Is it good? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I find see the problem with DC it's movies. It's a DC movie. So yeah, no, yeah it's no, not like, good. that's the thing. I feel DC try to, tries to just like cram so much into such little time. And I suppose that like yeah. obviously they had like the two directors, so they had like the one director for the first half yeah. of the movie, and a different one for the second half, and all that. I, I don't know. Like, and I suppose because you've seen the Flash TV series. Yeah. So like, I prefer that version of the Flash than like the one that was in the movie. Like, yeah. I don't know. I just found the one in the movie like personally for myself, it's like real clumsy. And stuff, and he was just trying to make jokes like the whole time. I don't know, like I suppose because I'm such like with DC, I'm used to like more like dark and gritty, especially in their movies. So I have like the sort of like MCU take on things where it's like we'll have some jokes and all that, and try to get the humor up. I was a bit like, oh, this is a bit different. Yeah. So the the Marvel universe is you know it's serious and funny, whereas DC just try to you know pinpoint one pretty much like they are either funny or they're not mm. for me like when you look at it like Z- Zack Snyder done The Man Is Still and he also done Batman vs Superman and I don't know what his role was in the Just League film what, was he the producer I think he, di- or I think he directed it and then like halfway it? through because didn't he had, like, any, come across yeah I think like Zack Snyder like had like a family tragedy or something <coughs> and then he had to like fly off there mm. so I think yeah Joss Whedon took over but yeah, have you seen? You would have seen Batman Superman. Yeah, I saw that. Now, one. I remember seeing that the freaking IMAX. Now I won tickets to that. I was just like, damn, that was the worst. It was not the worst. Yeah, I saw it twice. Like... I fell asleep in the second time. <laughs> yeah. I, saw it. I actually fell asleep. It's just so slow. Like I'm just, I don't know. It, like, it was a slow film. Like, mm. it's just like, and then like Wonder Woman just appears out of nowhere, and you sort of like, okay, like no worries, like yeah. that's cool and stuff. Like yeah. I quite enjoyed Wonder Woman though. Like in all credit yeah, to like DC, like, you seen that? Do you quite enjoy Wonder yeah. Woman? But like, oh, you haven't seen that? Oh really? No, oh, it's good. You should. Wonder Woman's yeah. actually not bad, but cause, like yeah, I don't know, for me, I enjoyed it as well. Like, it's, 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 it's,
That sort of no, that's good. Like, like, no, like enjoy that that sort of sort of like the history and all that. So to actually see that like on the big screen and stuff, I was like, oh this is pretty sick, like what a nasty and stuff. <laughs> James Brawls <Broadway. laughs> like LP Park, get the content or anything like that. Oh yeah. Oh YouTube. Just hate YouTube now. YouTube now, oh mate, it has changed quite a lot yeah. since when I started it. There's only a few like, oh, like oh man. There's only a few people like I actually watch. Yeah, and enjoy their content. Just like I dubs is good. Like I dubs his content yeah. series. Yeah, that's good. That's like I was about to say that before. <laughs> like um, that's kind of like what like Justice or oh, DC like kind of fucked up. Like you saw how like hyped like I dubs didn't release like a freaking yeah. video in like six months. And then, like, all that hype for when he did release on, like, yeah, that week. And then, um... Like, yeah, it's just, I don't know. They just need to boot up that hype. Like, we've already seen, like, the Justice League. Yeah, Assembled yeah. twice in two movies. It's just, like... It's no fun. When you can compare it to, like, Avengers. See, but, but then it's the first time you saw Cyborg and you saw... Yeah, um, but no one cares like, a shit about yeah. Cyborg, honestly. Okay, <laughs> Aquaman's still Aquaman, but I suppose it being mentioned yeah. in my while, like, it was like, ooh, Game of Thrones... Yeah, so, and yeah, like he was pretty cool, like and all that, and I think he fits Aquaman like pretty well. But it's Cyborg though. Cyborg was pretty different. I don't know. It was. It was. Yeah, I don't know. Without because I'm not sure if you guys are gonna see it, so I don't really want to touch on it if you guys haven't like. I don't know. Seen I've it seen it it but not. Cyborg definitely plays like <laughs> a pretty big part in the movie. Like I was pretty shocked with how much like involvement he had. So pretty much, Lee, out of like say five stars, how Jump what, for Justice what, League what, itself? Yeah, like, four, what, mate. I reckon. I mean two and a half in all seriousness yeah. oh no it's just so slow I'm like there's so many points in the movie where I was just like what the actual fuck is happening like I'm just sitting there and one second it's like a Batman scene and then it just like jump cuts straight away to like Superman I'm like how did we even like how did you get to that and stuff like I oh, know it was very like jump around jump around jump around okay bad villain alright let's all take him like it was just like I oh, know I found like it was at points it was like moving too slow but then at other points like it was moving too quick yeah. And it's sort of like, holy crap, like, there's so much happening, like, I don't know, again, I think it just comes back to, like, they just trying to fit so much in, like, such a short period, like, same as Batman vs Superman, yeah, they, like, I just found, like, all of a sudden, just everything was happening, and you're like, yeah. whoa, like, let's just settle it down a bit, like, yeah. sort I mean, of thing, but in saying that, the main villain as well in Batman vs Superman was pretty... Yeah, yeah. Pretty, I don't really, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a superhero movie, so I don't reckon you need that good of a... That's so, why, the, like, when people complain about, like, Marvel villains being shit it's just like it's not a villain movie it's a superhero movie <laughs> I didn't mind it. for the Thor 3 like the main villain like that chick like I can't even remember her name but like well uh cause like I really heard about her but I, I thought that was pretty cool to see like a different side of like yeah. Odin and stuff How, like, what was her name like they ruled like something everything I know she's like death or some shit like that yeah the, I think the, she's got a the name the goddess though. of death yeah she's, I know she has a yeah. name Jeff Goldblum in that movie yeah. though <laughs> Yeah, that was something uh, else. Can anyone confirm if he's still alive in the MCU? Was was it the, that was the other end credit scene, wasn't it? Yeah, Where, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Hopefully he's still alive. You can't kill off Jeff Goldblum. Jesus, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> but that's like, back to DC though, like, that's freaking... They missed out on, like... They should have combined the TV and uh, movies. Yeah, that's true. Like, I think people were like, you know, the DC fanboys freaking describe it as like, oh, it's a multiverse... Blah blah blah. It's just like that's such a low shit. <laughs> like they should have just brought the Flash from the TV show and friggin' yeah, correct. Steve that would been so much better. From Arrow. Arrow. Oh, I have one thing awesome. though with what they've done with Batman vs Superman. They actually went two million dollars over budget. So really? yeah, if you look two at million. If you, yeah, if you it's look that much. Though, if you it? look at it on like the Wikipedia page and you get right right in deep with it, you start to think how can you go over two million dollars budget. So mm. that's why it took Batman vs Superman a long time to come out, because mm. they had to go through um, the Warner Bros and the DC like protocols and the producers and the headquarters, and they had to you know really have a talk about what this film actually is because during that time they still had no idea what they were actually doing. They 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 were just going and <laughs> shooting shots and scenes and that's so bad. So I mean that's why it actually was a bit rushed because Zack Snyder you can tell he was in a rush to get the film done. But then again, he had to, you know, pull himself back and say, okay, what is, what's the main concept for this film, like, story-wise and character-wise mm. and also, like, background-wise? Because you see, Batman vs Superman, there's a lot of Bruce Wayne and his background in it, where Superman, you more or less saw Superman's background in, background in The Man of Steel. Mm. 
And then obviously when one one when Wonder Woman came in, I'm it go like as you said, Lee or Christian, she just came out like out of nowhere. I think Doom said that. <laughs> she, she she just came out. <laughs> yeah, it was it was just unexpected. Like it's just like a major fight between like them and Doom and then like Wonder Woman just sort of like yeah, just, rocks up and both like Superman yeah. and Batman are sort of like okay. <laughs> like mm. just being Lex Luthor. Like, like, Extreme Lex Luthor Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor oh. Oh, very interesting very yeah, interesting. Aware of that. I saw that I heard I reckon they actually casted well for Lex like, like um, <laughs> leave Husey just no, cut no. <laughs> fuck that's annoying Husey no um Lex Luthor what the hell he's such a little freak I still want to know what happened to Robert if I'm honest in the DC universe oh yeah that, from, so that was pretty cool yeah. when he came in Suicide Squad, that was just something else. Like, I really thought... I had high hopes for that, that movie. Like, even good? Oh, yeah. No, it? no, it's very... Again, all over the place. I was going to watch it on that. Netflix, because there's nothing... Like, once you've watched, like, you know, How Met Your Mother, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, there's nothing oh, on Netflix. So no, it's just like... No. Season four's now on Netflix for Nine-Nine. Is I'm it? Sure. Yeah. Dude, I brought it the other... Oh, did you? You yeah. brought it, yeah. Dude, I'm you're going to love our it, guest yeah. in... Uh... I need season five. Dude, you're going to love our guest <laughs> in about four weeks, I reckon. I'm, I'm, I need to find the links for season 5 online like, dude I'm it's sorry. on SBS it's on SBS yeah like it was on oh, last night what? like I shit you not holy fuck I did not know that see what happened to, like what I did was just like um, that's awesome see I like I watched all this, like season, the first three seasons on Netflix yeah same. and then someone in class mentioned that uh, season not, oh, season 4 was coming out so it's just like boom 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 pre-ordered that bitch nice. and then I uh, got that and that arrived it arrived like 5 days early which is good and then I watched that, and like literally on the night I finished watching that, I checked SBS, and season five was starting. I was just like, yes, jackpot. <laughs> now, season five was pretty good. Crap, that's Have you started watching goal. it at all, season five? I haven't seen any season five. I've just yeah, finished season four with yeah. um, how Jake, I will put her ultra in that, off actually in jail. Yeah. Have you, you watched it? Watch it? No, nah, I haven't watched oh, it. Brooklyn oh, so nine. Good. It's so good. So good. Yeah, it won't spoil it too Crap, much. I was right. saying, I love that scene in uh, season four, how like, in the Erasmus class, <laughs> like I can't remember. I can't remember that the oh, it's so good! And they're like wagging their tails. Oh yeah, <laughs> you need just, to watch it. Yeah, that's, I, I that's like, I keep wear, keep wagging your tails <laughs> down the back. Brenda, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it just had me like, oh, yeah, so good. It's got a, it's got Andy Samberg in it. You know him. Uh, it's got Terry Did you Cruz. Know Santiago is so hot. Like, yeah, I know. Oh, so don't want to spoil it for you, yeah, but. Uh, Something way gone there. Yeah, not wrong. Yeah, you should actually watch. Have you got Netflix at home? Nah, I don't. Wow. Uh, Damn. Yeah, you should start watching it. I can give you season four because I got them on DVD. But then I've got to watch one, two, and three. Yeah, go on. I'm sorry, <laughs> Husey. I was trying to do a favour for yes. you. But, yeah. but nah, yeah, do that guest in four weeks. I'm going to get hyped for that. Brooklyn Nine Nine, just an hour conversation about fan fiction <laughs> fan in regards fiction. to that. <laughs> like, DS, yeah, so what a boss. Mmm. Did any shit. of you guys go to that PAX, that um, that gaming convention? That was that. I haven't, but I actually session? wouldn't like. I, I myself wouldn't mind going just to see what it's like. Like just to go, like, not to like cosplay or anything like that, but like just to go like, have someone like in the past, like walking around and stuff. Would you cosplay? I think that'd be pretty no, cool. No, no, but I, I had a mate who went and um, a what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they said a mate <laughs> who went. It's like fun. <laughs> um, <but laughs> this, this this guy said he actually enjoyed it. Like it, it was actually pretty cosplaying. Good. Nah, oh, nah, not, not that. But I had another mate who I think wanted to do a cosplay, but he kind of chickened out towards the end. I think from work, yeah. he went to park. Uh, yeah, parks, and he just went and like there was just like a registration where you could like just do like a League of Legends tournament. Yeah, you're not finishing second overall in yeah, like the tournament, good. and I was like, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll cosplay it, but only like as like a Marvel character or something like that. Or like a Star Wars character. I wouldn't go as like. So you like looking at the Star Wars poster? I, w- I, w- like, <laughs> I wouldn't go as like an anime character. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that. Unless it was like. No offense. Anyone. Unless it was like Goku or like Vegeta, but like. Um, yeah. <laughs> was that, like a, that's a lot of effort. Like some of their fucking swords and shit are just like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, trying to think of um. Bloody new topic. Else? New yeah, topic. No, what else has been happening in the world? <laughs> to be honest, with who? With me? Oh no, just in oh, general. Yes. I mean, I saw. Did, was that true? Was that analysis? Was oh. Trump's tweet about King Jong Un like? Was that his legit Twitter? 
I'm not sure what you're talking about, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm not sure either. Oh, crap. It was like, I can't even recall what it was like off the top of my head. I mean, like, you watch all the stuff with North Korea and America, you can tell there is going to be a bit of a tension there. There's like, yeah, there's tension in that, and I mean, I reckon eventually there will be a war, and then, you know, Australia will get called upon. Oh, well, lucky, lucky we've got a few yeah. Call of Duty pros who are just really yeah, good at the yeah, game-based yeah. games. Look at all those 360 oh, Christian, that's games. you. Oh, they are easy. Jeez. Just dog me in. <laughs> Dog in the teeth yeah. and all yeah. there. Jeez. Uh, I reckon it'll probably happen. It won't, it won't like, probably be the end of the world. No. It'll just be isolated. I reckon it'll be like, um, it'll just be like all that shit in Syria. Like, you know how that's, like, happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, not yeah. really affecting the... It's not. It's happening, but it's not happening. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like no one cares. Mm-hmm. It'll be, I reckon it'll be like that. Except we'll, we'll care because of the media. Yeah. We'll yeah. freak them out. Bro, I sound like Brandon yeah. Anderson. The media, like, the media I... will... <laughs> Jesus. If you, the you'll probably listen. I'm going to make you listen to this. No offense, Brandon. But no, I mean, like... No, it's not, like, a bad thing. It's just, like... It, 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 they'll do that. Like, we only care. Like, imagine if, like, we were allied with, like... I don't know. Who's, or who's fighting in Syria right now? Let's just say... I don't know. Let's make up country. Let's just say Afghanistan and Iraq are fighting. Yeah. And like, let's say Iraq, uh, Iraq are the good guys. Like, we don't care because Australia oh, is an ally with them. Yeah. But if we were like ally with the US, we want to kiss freaking US's ass. True. Yeah, it would yeah. just be like, oh, Channel Nine News tonight. Oh no, sh- US invades oh, North Korea. Oh, oh <laughs> seriously. Yeah, it will it'll be like that. I still love the like while we're on the topic of like news and all that. Like as soon as I just said, you say something. I still love that a current affair is like still a thing. Yeah. Like, what an actual fucking joke. And it's still like the bullshit is just like, do you know what's happening at your local supermarket? <laughs> Find out tonight <laughs> at current affair. Yeah. And all that. It's just like stupid stories yeah. like that. It's like, are you paying too much for you, too much for your petrol prices and all that? It's like, yeah, we, probably. We can oh, show you well, where the miles are. prices are. Yeah, it's just like, oh. Yeah, it's just like, um, yeah, I said to my mum the other day, like, it's with, it's just like the, um, it's like 60 minutes. Like, they were showing, like, their little... Oh, like, I haven't seen that in ages. Not neither. But, like, they were showing their, like, advertisement for, like, oh, we care, watch us. And it's just like, how can, like, people want to be on that show and, like, think the people, like, genuinely care? Like, the hosts. Yeah. yeah like, you see, like, Carl Stefanomi. That guy is the <laughs> fakest son of a bitch I've ever oh, seen. Oh, no shit. Like, he's just got, like... Oh, I hate Carl Stefanovic. Scumbag. I um, saw that, uh, apparently David Koch is sleeping somewhere. Yes. Yeah, they cost me. Yeah, just wake up with him every single morning in high school. <laughs> well, <laughs> next to you or because I'm just report that. Oh, no, I really like, like with the cash uh, now, mate. Yeah, Jeez. I think Lee re- re- really wanted to, you know, wake, wake up with like <laughs> the sunrise. You know, just just hello, I, I, I am at Armitage, I think. Nah, when I do have to watch, like, yeah, when I do have to watch a morning show, I just watch today's show. That's but I don't really pay attention. I do miss actually in all seriousness with like that new stuff. I miss so much. What was the one that was always on Go and it was always on like TMZ? TMZ, yeah, that's that good was show. good. Yeah, Courtney Banter on that show. Oh, it was always the best bit, and like people like Colin at the end, they'd be like, "No, it's a shit story." <laughs> yeah. They just like tell them straight off. It was only good like when the vo- the the voiceover guy yeah. did the like because I know half the show was that, and then half the show was like the little jockey looking guy reporting. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, show us, get us the voiceover. <laughs> Because that was the only funny thing about that show. That's not even on anymore. Mm. Channel Go. I remember that extra with like Mario Lopez. Yeah. yeah. That's just like daytime TV. Pretty much it is. Peak. You it's look like that, you got that, his hair, I reckon. Mario, look. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Usually just seductive Mexican <laughs> oh, export. <pretty> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. But uh, TV in general though, like, I'm just trying to think of like good shows that are on. It's like not really any, yeah, to be no. honest. Like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh yeah, but I didn't even know the fuck that was well, on there SBS. Like, that's shocking. Um, like there's so many friggin' shitty reality it, shows. Like I just like love the Desperate the Housewives for one. Like, <laughs> like, like like the Real Housewives. Who wants to watch that? Really? I just genuinely love the block. Like I really no fucking. I hate oh, the, I yeah, hate the block so much. Yeah. Like why is it a thing? And MasterChef's still a thing. Yeah, that's true. That's, I mean, when oh. you look like. That new chef show they put on that family food fight. Yeah. Like, what? Why do they need another cooking show? I was saying it the other yeah. the other day. But like a lot of the shows these days, and like where we are now, I suppose as like country or whatever. You always need like the old couple who were just like happily in love. The newlyweds who are like, oh, 
newlyweds. And then, like, you have, like, the two, like, bitches that are just on there, just bitch and complain about fucking everything. Yeah. Love the one gay couple, because you need to have a gay couple these days. Yeah. It seems like you need to have a Muslim couple as yeah. well. And they're just like, oh, I just fucking... Yeah. It's just annoying. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I can't watch them, because it's just like... I don't know, so ever since, like, media, like that, yeah. I, I remember doing, like, a, like, Crowley just explaining, like, how everything on TV, like, none of it's real, and, like, going into it, that stuck with me. It's like, a, ever since then, I just can't watch any reality shows, because no. they're all, like, fake as hell, yeah, and that's are. what I hate when people think yeah, it's... Yeah, the fake personalities on the yeah, TV, yeah, like, it's literally all fake. It, it's pretty much, it, it's all for the camera, like, they're not yeah, really exactly. like that, like, because yeah. I remember when I was at Swimmer... I was across the road from the glass house, the block, and what you saw on TV is not what they're like yeah. in real life. Because I, I actually saw them when they're off camera, mm. and they are not the way they are. It, mm. It's all for like. It's TV. just like yeah, it's Probably. just like when you get the the villains quotation marks yeah. in like reality shows, and they're advertised. Like I remember My Kitchen Rules. Like that was freaking. He was trying to watch you know the footy, and then every ad's just My Kitchen Rules. And, like, some guy would always get advertised, or a girl would get advertised, like, the villain. It's just like... It's like fuck I doubt man, they're like that in real yeah. life. And you get cut back to fucking Basil Zemplis telling you... Yeah. Like, oh, it's like, you, you can't dude. win with Channel 7. For Dear you. God. You can't win. Especially on a Saturday night when oh. you're at Scumbags reporting. God. Basil Zemplis. Good old Bruce as well. Yeah. But, no, in, um... Remember, buddy, I think it was like House Rules. It was, like, a TV show, and, like, the people have found out that, like... They actually have like another like a property, a pro- another a property, another property or some shit that was like valued at like a heap. Mm. And I was like, fuck, like how do you not background check like people? And yeah, I don't know. It's, like, it's pretty fucked. Bro. Yeah, the camera changes yeah. people. Good old TV. Yeah. Speaking of TV, though, Channel Ten's fucked. Well, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you watch? Um, have you been paying attention? No, yeah. that's. Do you watch that? Yeah, I watch that on, on <sighs> my Monday nights because that's so good. I'm, I'm actually still at work, you know. Yeah. I'm upstairs having my dinner, and I'm just sitting there pissing myself laughing. Yeah, it's so it's good. Just so you funny. should start watching it. I, the last episode's on this week, so it's probably not a great time to start watching no. it. No, it's got like um, Ed Cavalli and like Sam Pang. Oh, okay. And like, it's it's a good banter, to be honest. It's, like, it's actually it's, like funny. It is funny. Like they ask them like the ser- serious questions, yeah. they give them like you know joke responses. Yeah. yeah. It's actually, yeah, it's good. Like, it's, like, everything. It's just, like, it's set up, but it's funny set up. Is that fish tank good? What is fish is, tank? Is that no, the shark tank. Oh, uh, is that what it's called? Is, 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 that, is that the way, like, you come in? Yeah, is that where yeah. you come in with, like, your invention yeah. or whatever? And yeah. you yeah. Them? Is that like, any good? Because, like, I've never actually sat down and watched that. It is good. Gosh, like, like, it's okay. Like, once you've seen, like, a few episodes, episodes like, I you've mean, seen them all. If, if you look at the Australian one, like, they're just, you know, n- normal chairs, but you look at the American version, they're, like, in, like, the voice chairs, and big, like, America goes way out. Yeah, like, oh, wow. But, um, if we're talking about invention-wise and what their business is, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Like, some of the people come in with stupid, yeah, like, like as you businesses. Yeah, John Seller. But, but um, Australia's just peasantry and everything, literally. I still remember, like, it was up until, like, I think, maybe last season or the season before, like, where, like, at the A-League, like, highest level of soccer, they would still have, like, the plastic chairs that were worth quality and then, like, these, like, $2 chairs. <laughs> so it was just like, what the hell, A-League? Like, they've got, like, the car seats now, quotation marks, but, like, oh, yeah. 2015, the they're still seats. using plastic seats. That's, That's embarrassing. It's not ideal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> So a musket always stands up, anyways. Yeah, true. So that. you know, save some uh, costs. Yeah. A league though. Damn, he's used it again. So uh, sh- shame we can't talk A league about Hughesy or with Hughesy, I should say. I was gonna say, what do you um? I was about to say, do you game much? Um. I, saw, I remember last time I talked to you about games. I think you were still talking about the PS two. <laughs> yeah, well, I can see well, you still got. I, I can see you still got yours here. Chris. I was yeah. pretty impressed when I saw that behind me. Actually, I was like, "Fuck!" Wow, like, I don't know. I remember buying that optical cable or whatever it was for PS two. I was playing like. Oh, the AB or. Yeah, the AB yeah. one. I remember playing. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Crash Twin. Crash Twin Sanity. Yeah. What a game. It's probably like my favourite PS2 game in all seriousness. There's I still like, a shit ton of um games I still need to like play for um I saw that straight away actually. Yeah. I was like fast. Yeah. I re-brought like, that from the Chinese place in Bayes order. Such a good like, oh, um, that guy, oh man, I had a blowout with the what? game. 
the what? what? <laughs> like, Jesus, like, this is a, like this guy, like, uh, we it's hate just gangs. The, the, the Johnny and Bay is one of that, that gang garages. Oh, is yeah, you, geez, you know what we're talking about. Nice. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, go on, go on. He had one thing on his um, website for this price, went in, bought it. And I'm like, no, you're advertising for this price. And he's like, no, 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 what no. Game was it? Uh, um, it was um, a SOCOM, um, US oh, yeah, Na- yeah, yeah. Navy SEAL yeah, 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 Bravo yeah, one. And um, he's like, no, 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 it's this price. I'm like, no, mate, I'll show you. I've got my phone up, showed him he's showing it for this price. And he's like, no, no, no. I'm like, mate, you know I, you I don't done? care. I'm paying this price. This is the price you're advertising for. I'm paying for this. You should have just ordered it online in front of him. <laughs> yeah. That would have been great. No, this is like this is like um like the Jack. Did you ever play Jack and Daxter? Yes, I love Jack X, like the racing Jack car. Jack X. One. Did you like? I um, remember Jack X. Oh, that was a good game. I don't really play that much of Jack oh, X, but um, yeah. did you ever play Jack Three? Yes. Like, that shit was insane. I'm still waiting for that to come to PS4. Remember Ratchet and Clank? Ratchet, yeah, it was like either I can't. Because I had the, because my PS2 had the chip in it, so like yeah, I had like the Lucky. US European version of like some games as well. Yeah. Like you had the show. It was either called Ratchet Deadlocked or Ratchet Gladiator, and yeah, that yeah, was I played so much of that fucking game. Like it I was bet that so game good. Gladiator games. sounds familiar. Like it was. So we were seeing sick. ads to that, and like you could run around with like these jewel pistols. I don't know, oh, man. Like it was such a sick yeah. game. Though. Did you play Ratchet and Clank on PS4 yet? No, uh, no, well, Kirky has it, and like I yeah. sort of like watched him play it and all that, but I don't know, like, I don't mind Ratchet and Clank, but it's, it was never like a game that like I was super yeah. like. I don't know. You it's, bought it, didn't you? Yeah, I've got I it. Like I, I only played it. I got it for Christmas, but um, yeah, it's a tough one to go back to. That uh, seems crash, yeah. man. Like, I bought the remaster of that, and like, it's still good, but. Yeah. After like a week of that, it was like the nostalgia sort of done, which, is, yeah. like, was, which was a bit of a shame. So I haven't touched it since. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> like, I've, I think I've got, because I got, yeah, Ratchet and Clank, and I got Jack and Daxter remastered on PS4. And, like, I don't know. I haven't played either of them <laughs> for, like, longer than 10 minutes. It's yeah, just like, like you just play it again, and you're like, this is cool and all, and then, like. Yeah, it's hard to go back to it. Jack of Three, though, I could go back to that shit any day. I'm looking at Smackdown this row yeah. 6 I'm just I feel sure like some of those are yours as well like, I just remember like looking at it and being like oh, I remember coming here like in the afternoon to play and it was like Rey Mysterio yeah. and you picked between like the World Heavyweight or the WWE yeah and that was a spinny belt where you could hold R2 and it would spin yeah, like all went, yeah I was on I went on the uh, Steam store today and that's on 2K18 it's on PC 40% off oh, that's so pretty it's good like, I think it's 35 bucks you got, uh, Australian oh, dollars so I might grab that Get that a sneaky download. But yeah, back to the co- so have you is that your newest console or PS two? No, I've got um we recently just got a PS three, so I'm like <laughs> I'm like a generation behind. He's about ten years behind mm-hmm. the old But music. um look I, I That's I'm, good. It's alright, you can still play the last yeah. of us and stuff, which is a good yeah, game. Yeah, like, I still looks good on PS three. Yeah. Well like, I've I'm I'm more of a car guy, so I love my need for speeds. Um, recently just got Need for Speed Carbon on the PS3 and I can tell it's been remastered for it and I bet that in three days and like coming home yeah. from work just playing that you know just being in the races being the bosses and and I actually went in and got like all the Call of Duties as well for, oh, for the PS3 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got all like the Medal of Honours as well yeah and, um, oh, Medal of Honours yeah, the, the cuts on there um, oh, that was so good on the old gen uh, uh, you know the one thing like as soon like as soon as I walked into this room like I looked at it on your wall and I was like holy crap yeah. well, I still remember that game that was my uh, on the wall my legendary 25 and 1 game yeah yeah have you played Modern Warfare 3? no, oh. no. I got it I just haven't played it yet I still remember going 20 and 0 on that map as well like a few games after that Man, that was insane I miss Modern Warfare 3 now Favela I know, was it Favela? no it was um, it was that African yeah, the map. Like, yeah, and all we have to do is just go around the um the circle. Just remember, don't go into the middle. That's when you're gonna get fucked. <laughs> remember boot like on Modern Warfare Three? That was yeah. such a good map. Modern Warfare, Warfare, Warfare Three. That's such. A good, that's probably the best multiplayer in my opinion. I had a lot of fun on that game. Like yeah. playing with like you and C, so, like that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And stuff. Black Ops Two was like the most fun that I've had though. Like so. playing with like Vorksy Connor. Yeah, like, they need to bring like, Modern like, Warfare Three. That's the only one they haven't brought back. And Modern Warfare Two. Those are the only two cards, and those are 
like arguably the only two cards people want to play. No shit. Well, World War Two's been pretty good. Yeah, man. what's your thought on that? that I've what? played it. I'm more, I've already played a day's worth. I've played a day's yeah. a day in like eight hours. I'm already uh, like nearly prestige two. Did you end up getting um Battlefront two? No, I haven't got it yet. Have you? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you play it, Matt? You and Matt playing it? Have you? No, Matt didn't get it. Really? No, he hasn't, he hasn't got it yet. Oh, okay. Because I was just saying, I don't remember like, tagging him, like, yeah. seeing him tag you and, like, a lot of stuff. And I was like, yeah. he's even it's more hyped than you. he's obsessed with me, Matt. <laughs> That's what, I'm not wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. We support gay couples. So. Yes, yes, <laughs> Australia. Yeah. But, uh, no, it, it's actually pretty fun. Like, I don't know. Obviously, a lot of people didn't get it because of the microtransactions. Yeah, so that turned a lot of people away. But isn't that like that? That's sort of like fixed to be now, isn't it? Or is uh, it still like they took out like the uh, so you can't like buy it with real money? Oh, uh, okay. st- it's still like I don't know. You have to grind fucking hard for it though. You're like a machine. Yeah, like, to the get space battles are really fun. Did you ever play old Battlefront two? I think I did. God, I, see, I yeah. would still like I'm not even if I had a working PS2 it's not playable on PS2 oh, nah no, try to go back to it like trying to go back really nah you can't go back so to it's it. only what playable probably back on PC yeah and even then, um, with like, mods yeah. <laughs> it's unplayable with that like literally cool because yeah when I was it you who I tagged in that thing it was like still $44 and someone like the caption was like would you still pay this much for this game no, I don't know because oh, no, I saw that and I was like straight away I was like oh fuck I'd pay like 50 bucks yeah. so I remember when that game dropped Battlefront 2 yeah, yeah I can and like the hype was like yeah like if you weren't playing that game you missed out and I remember getting it for Christmas Christmas that year. yeah I was getting it for Christmas that year and I just remember like sitting at home like just playing it while like, mum was next door back at Glenn's when Glenn used yeah, to live yeah, next door yeah, yeah. And like even Glenn, and then like it got to the point where even like Glenn came out, and me and like him were just like sitting in my room, like just playing it, while like yeah. everyone else was like, yeah, I can just completing the main thing, like split because you can do it split screen, yeah. you know, like the story and stuff. Oh, I don't think you do the story split screen. I just remember that kid on Adu Monday mission, like yeah. the first one, they got the walk off. Like um, yeah, I can still remember the time of day and like the smell in the air when Battlefront Two came out, <laughs> because I remember coming up from primary school. And like it was on the bench, like out there, and it's just like, thank you. Jesus. I miss them days where like yeah. being a kid, like, fuck. I tell you what, I miss being a kid. Yeah. But just coming back and like, like your mm. parents got like you the Pokemon while you're at school and you yeah. come back and you're like, oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Well, for me, SmackDown vs Raw because I used to get, it always used to come out in November, so it was yeah. like a birthday present for me. I had a boss. Yeah. So yeah, that's so. that blow up Batista thing that came with like 07 too. Like, what? It was like a blow up thing. You could like punch yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it was pretty lit. Oh, yeah. I don't know what awesome. the fuck happened to that. <laughs> As a kid, you're like, fuck yeah, like, got over my, I think it was like grade six game for us. You were just giving like a big. Just sort of, oh, I mean, what, once I found out like the UFC actually made their what? games, I, I actually moved towards the UFC because I, I mean, I love, oh, I love yuck. my Smackdown. That was my first, first Xbox 360 game. Was it? Yeah, it came with yeah, the UFC, UFC game. Yeah, the yeah. first, they were, the first and you could always, <laughs> The Superman punch was broken in that game. You could just like repeat and repeat and yeah. repeat, and you just win. Like, oh, it was fucking, it was fucking yeah. awesome. Knocked out Mickey in that game in like four seconds. He ran at me, and my guy just like jumped, like, and, he, and he's like, "Are you ready?" And I like looked up, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" And I just like quickly clicked a button, and my guy just jumped up and kneed him like right in the head and knocked him out. Man, that'd be a good idea. Boot up the old PS2 or Xbox multiplayer. Oh mate, I mean, great. Something. So I've only got one. Oh, I've got two Xbox controllers. So we'll see how we go. Like Harry Potter. God, I hated that game. I love that we, game. We, we, really? Because it was when the split screen did that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, hate yeah. that split screen. Yeah, Lego games are tough to get into. Don't you actually, what do I have on my Xbox One that I still need to... Remember, so May the 4th, how all the Soul Sanders used to always be free download? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Force Awakens. Complete Saga. Complete Lego, the complete Saga. No, it's still well. sitting there. And I'm just like, ooh. Because yeah. me and Tempting. you smashed the first one. That's time when we went away to my grandparents. Yeah. I remember that was still... That wasn't Complete Saga. I remember that was just the, um, the, very the first, first three. Yeah. Like, th- what, episodes one, two, and three. That, that was, was a throwback. That was so good, man. I still remember, like, completing it. And you're like, oh, yeah, have you completed it, like, 100%? And I was like, yeah. what do you mean? And, like, you show me how to complete it. And then you got to play the first level for, like... Yeah. The original yeah, trilogy yeah, that was coming yeah. out, and I was like, whoa! God, that's like, what is shit. this? That's a good shit. I wonder, surely they'll make another three, if like with a new, pro- yeah. like, the new one. I don't know, I didn't get the Force Awakens Lego. Oh, they actually just made a Force Awakens yeah, Lego? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they didn't wait 
fluff the other two to drop. Nah. That inj- that shocks me. Yeah, they're, they're getting a bit pretty. They're getting a bit scumbaggy. They're, 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 they're turning the bloody Husey with his money. part one and part two like, quest. Didn't really like a Marvel came out, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. Well, I reckon that would be pretty good because the first one I've got on. I got that on PC and Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. You still got that on one console. I think it must be maybe Xbox. Mm. It might be Xbox 360 or Xbox. I don't know. I've got it on one console. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember the good old days back in prime, not not prime school, in high school, in study periods. You, Christian, yeah, you walk in with your Game Boy Advance playing yeah. your Pokemon. That was good. I remember me and Keegan. Those, that. Were the, those were the good old days. I remember I just. Me and Keegan got obsessed with, like, Soul Silver and, like, the um, like the Johto remakes. That Probably. was some good <coughs> shit. Probably in the new Sun and Moon, you can get like all the legendaries. Yeah. I heard. I I can't, like, yeah. But like, I, I can't be bothered paying Neither like 250 I. bucks for a 3DS when I know all I'm going to play is Pokemon, and once I put that game down, you won't play it, yeah. Like, My brother's got a 3DS, uh, if, and he's got the game, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's <laughs> so pretty convenient, yeah, him. for yourself. But I can't believe people, I don't think they've got multiple saves. I don't know, don't <laughs> Which, quote me on that. No, I'm fairly I sure they don't. They never used to. I think the last Pokemon I actually got into was um, I tried to get into Black. Oh, that was the last one that I finished. Yeah, but I, I couldn't get I just couldn't do it. It was just so shit. It's, it's just all over the place now. Like it's yeah. it's too much. The Pokemon yeah. goes like full anime. I hate that full anime style. Like um, it's just like freaking Beyblades. Yeah, Beyblades. Like that show on Go. Me. That's just the, o- the OG Beyblades. It was on like yeah, that was awesome. That was so good. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember, like, and then, like, um, yeah, yeah, like, that shit was awesome. With Tyson and Max and Kai and Ray, that was And then they've gone, like, even with, like, Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! was this shit. When that originally dropped, holy f. Getting Maximilian Pegasus' deck from EB Game, and just the smell of the. Like, it's just, like, still. And then you had, like, the placemat, too. Yeah. And you'd be like, ah, ah, ah. Did any of you get, like, that <laughs> jewel disc thing that, like, you get on I your I always wanted it. I yeah. wanted it I so it. bad. I got it. You got it's, one? Yeah. Do you? Have you still got it? Yeah, I still got it. Oh, you should have yeah. brought it today. Damn it. Bring it next uh, uh, time. Oh, Bring it next awesome. time. Yeah, well, it's awesome. Do you want to let my dog out? And all that. You let the dog out. Well, he's usually I'm here. He's your dog. He's just your... I'm the guest. He's your dog. He's your order. <laughs> no, I remember getting Joey's deck for the first time. I remember trading Time Wizard. No. Yeah. Just something shit, no doubt. Dude, no but do you remember when, like, I think it was like grade five when it was last popular? Like, do you remember when those gold ones were circulating? Oh. T- like, they were fake, but they were sick as hell. Yeah. They were sick. Oh. I don't know if they were circulating at your school. They were kind of like drugs at the time. Like they actually just like you, you got that kid with a trench coat that just yeah. <laughs> just like his, opens yeah. up and he's got he's all the yeah. cards and <laughs> pretty much. I mean, I remember those kids didn't turn out good. <laughs> Celtic Street, so what? That's what I was checking my phone for. Celtic Street. Oh, yeah, I don't know they was. beat us. Yeah, fuck. Oh. But um, yeah, I remember like just stacking up. Like, what wasn't a smart? Like back then, no one used tactics. No way, and no one sacrificed something yeah, either. It was yeah, just yeah. place it fucking down, you know. But I remember, like, just assembling, just like, I think I ended up getting, like, 10 Blue Eyes Like Dragons. Oh, I remember and that. And the like, head of that was, like, was my gold one. It's I got oh. off someone. But, uh, do you remember the days? Just I don't know if you did it. Like, we're, yeah. we're really corrupt at our school. Yeah. But, like, um, really just, like, corrupt. versing a kid in the lower year level and just making up rules. <laughs> yeah, we done that. It's yeah, like, we Exodia, did. can you summon that? Well, I, summon I mean, all, I, yeah. for me, I pretty, I actually planned, I, I was a bit of a, oh. like a shit, really. Oh. I, I actually, I had, I, I had all my, I had my deck actually planned out before I went, went into oh, battle. Yeah. Like, yeah, some kids would actually shuffle the cards. You said. And then, but me, I, I didn't, so I knew, I would, you know. First five cards, I was like, Zodiac. I mean, back, back then, I had the, you know, the three most powerful cards. Yeah. So, I mean, I placed them down, yeah, shit, I won. But then once they brought out, you know, that, the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh movie, and they brought out that one card. Oh, they yeah, that, 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 that pyramid oh, card. Wins Grey, bro. Andrew Sphinx. God, I actually got Yu-Gi-Oh cards in my room. Like, have you still got yours? Oh, there's maybe somewhere. You need to hunt them down. So I still got my original Pokemon cards as well. The original. Yeah, I still got them. Fuck, yeah. I don't have that. They, you're sitting on quite a lot of money then if you have original Pokemon cards. Yeah, my mum. Yeah. Like, yeah, my mum would have. Uh, she probably did it 
That's not good. No. Uh, she probably did it like it, like when I was in like year seven or something where I didn't care, but I really regret throwing out my like Yu Gi Oh cards and my, my mom, nice mom, strobe yeah. light. Uh, and like, especially my wrestlers. She did that without my permission. Fuck, all mine are still under the house. Yeah, I, I've, yeah I've never seen It's a lot of that. money just in plastic. I know. <laughs> no shit. Like, we would spend like a good 15 bucks to $20, depending on the wrestler. And like, to when throw we, them all out. Getting to the point where we usually call like the fucking other ones bendy guts. It's like, yeah, I've got the bendy gut, Jeff. <laughs> and you're like, oh, not the bendy guts. Like, the bendy guts are the worst. God, those, I don't know if anyone else did that. Have you seen anyone else who did, used to play with those? Oh, not not in not that I know of. Like there was you, me, Harley, and uh, Jared. Yeah. I don't know anyone else who did. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> no, I don't. Did you used to do it? Oh, like my like the wrestling I figurines. No. But then, like that's like I remember just to dress them up. I remember uh, play with them. <laughs> so I'm with uh, remember with um I like three wrestling. Yeah, I, I remember holding a cell one, the SmackDown yeah. one. The, the I remember sh- taking my one to um Jared's. And I made a really big mistake of, um, like, riding. Like, I was riding, and I had it, like, in front of me. And then I accidentally oh. fell over, and, like, it didn't break the whole thing, but, like, the little... <laughs> the um, ring posts. Yeah, the ring posts. Oh. And they were... They were, they, were, they were the same, too. That was, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but those used to be good days. Just, like, just slam through the table. Oh, Ben had them. Ben had a few. Yeah. Just, like, stay in someone's house. Yeah, just, you, just, like, you know, you just fuck around. Yeah, them. no shit. Yeah, like, we'd bring the wrestlers, and we'd have, like, a massive, like... Yeah, we'd so, man, it'd be, like, three hours. Like, like, yeah. Like, someone would be SmackDown, someone would be Raw. So and like, you'd, like, setting up a show. Yeah. yeah, and, like, you'd have, like, a Royal Rumble or something like that. Oh, that was... Those are good days. You'd always yeah, say that one wrestler that was, like, your favourite for, like, that week as well. Yeah. They'd be like, you get thrown over the ropes. Oh, no, but he doesn't actually hit the ground. Yeah, he exactly. comes back in. Just <laughs> never having Rey Mysterio lose. Oh, mate, he was one of a kind. He was a bomb. God, I still remember that John Cena, though. The limited edition one. You, pu- out you pulled it out of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, rookie mistake. I still remember getting CM Punk, though. Yeah. Like, I remember oh, that hype. Just, like, yeah. a casual, like, trip to Chernside. It's just, like, CM Punk's there. I remember like calling up um, like Jared's house. And it's just like I've got I got CM Punk today. It's just like and Harley was there. It's like surprise, surprise. But it's just like and they're like what? <laughs> it's just like show us now. So I walked down there and showed him. It's like I my favorite Ray Mysterio was probably the Mexican one. Yeah. Oh. That I yeah, got with like yeah. that mask. Yeah. Like was those figurines? Yeah, I used to have the. Oh, I'll tell you this. You're a better man, easy fuck. <laughs> but um. I miss that shit. That was some good yeah, shit. Was, when we nah, I remember I got the um the oh God, what is it like the black and white one, the WrestleMania one. Oh yeah, 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 yes. yep, yeah. Yep, that was one. awesome. Like the yeah, that was so sick. I had the blue one. I had a few rooms here. I remember Jared had the purple one. I really wanted that purple one. Purple one was sick. like I remember I borrowed it off him for like um a few nights. It was so good to use. I remember I got the H. My favorite one is still my HBK. Oh, yeah, yeah, With the one black shorts. Fuck. And I got an edge and the arms fucked. Like, it comes off <laughs> so easy. Honestly, I reckon if I, had a, if I had a good collection of, like, a hundred, you know. I got an RVD. I would t- probably, I would probably still play with them, to be honest. No joke. <laughs> just bored on a Saturday night. Just like, I miss, you know, I miss I'm going to get out of wrestlers and play with them. I miss those OG Beyblades, though, man. Like, yeah, they were something yeah. best with, like, the little rubber, like, stops at the bottom. Like little metal like weight discs. <sighs> yeah, I still got. But like you don't, you can't. The new ones are shit now. Do you still got stuff? Yeah, I still, I still got my original Dragoon. Oh, I got easy. Max's um, one as well. You're killing me, um, easy. But yeah, like I've watched the new Beyblades and they're shit. It's like, so bad. I, I, I've, I the bit beast is not not like yeah, like I remember yeah. the bit beast being like leaked. It's because it goes full anime. Like all those cartoons have gone full anime, and I hate it. Like there's even like a. I think it, I can't remember what show it I is. I had that yo I watch one. Yeah, it's either Yu-Gi-Oh or uh, Beyblades, where there's like a legitimate cat character. Like she's not a, she's a human cat. <laughs> this yeah, is like, like, too far. Yeah, they're, they're what am I too watching? Far now. Like they're just milking yeah. their franchises. Like with, with Yu-Gi-Oh, they had like the original, then they had GX. GX is sick. Then they had that that like, that that. Five Zex- Ds. I yeah. never got into that after that point. And Zexal, yeah, because that was on Year Seven. I think I still watched Five Ds. That was was that the, that's good. the one with like they like the racing yeah. motorbikes. Yeah, that wasn't fu- that wasn't good. Yeah. like that, and they those had, like, the number good. summons. Yeah, that stage, like XC's summons. Yeah, or, 
Yeah, GX was good though. Yeah, I love. I still don't know what happened at the end of GX. Same, yeah. Because I remember you that... got weird though. You're like in all yeah. series, like the original, like how it went from like oh, he beats yeah. Pegasus to then Dungeon Dice Monsters. Because I, I bought the Dungeon Dice like when that dropped. Like, yeah. I remember buying that. Um, then it went from like Dungeon Dice to the F the Five God Dragon and some of Cloud Corporation and all that. Then it went from that to. Did it go from that? It went from that to then the Battle City Jewelers tournament. That was awesome, though. That was good up until that Marrick guy just, like, absolutely full-on cooked it on whatever the fuck he was... Like, actual cooked it. Mm. And then it went from that... After that, it went to... Like a virtual world. Yeah. And it was was that the one where it was, like, the seal of... The seal of no, Arcos? that was... That was... With the, the, no, with the three, after that with one. the three dragons, those three dragons were pretty sick. They though. were pretty sick. But like the Egyptian god cards, those that's just like peak that badasses. Like, yeah. Nothing will get more badass than no, that. No. Pegasus's no. Toon World was pretty cool. Yeah. Did you ever play? You would have played Duel Links on your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was yeah, actually yeah. pretty fun. Did you? Did, did, yeah, you, I did. Yeah, you played that? Yeah, I did. Actually, you still play it? No. Nah. Because they gave you a shit ton of gems, and it was so good. And you can just buy those. One of the best... Um, freaking card packs. One of the best Yu-Gi-Oh games, in my opinion, was, I think it was like Battle City Jewelers World Tournament 04. Game Boy I games. didn't play and it was And it was like the actual, like, you can burst like the... I think I remember... Marcana. I think I remember He's like it, yeah. Red Dark Magician. I had that card in person. Yeah. I remember that. I was like... Wait. There's some pretty good... Like, it kind of sucks they're all 2D. Hmm. But like, um... What's the other good game? Duel of... Maybe... Was it Duelist of the Roses? I remember I had nah. some 3D animation. It was on Legacy of the Duelist. That was the one on Xbox One. Like, that was really fun. Like, you could unlock every... I could still add, like, that, um... I remember the demo yeah. for that. Yeah, it made the... Yeah, it made the most sense to have, like, a loot box system. You know? Yeah, correct. And, um... Yeah, it was such a good game. I remember getting the Egyptian God cards, like, all oh, in, yeah, um... Yeah. Like, packs. And it's just like... <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, that's a great game. Because you can, like, um, I don't know if you... It's, it might be on PS3. Maybe. You should look into it. Um, it's It's got, like, um... So you can go, you go through, like, all the duels of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's so good. And you can verse online. But when you verse online, it's all Asians. And they've got, like, some fucked up cards. <coughs> like, the, yeah, because there was a Yu-Gi-Oh! game that actually followed, like, the anime. Like, the, like from up yeah, until, yeah. like... The World City Tournament. So, like, yeah. you actually go through it. Like, you beat, like, Rex Raptor. Yeah. Then, they're, like, we- Weedle? Weedle? Yeah. That's as close as you're going to get, though. That, like, that exact game. That's as close as you'll get. First tier with that fairy fucking deck. Yeah. Like, a build <laughs> fucking life point. That's just, like, um, Dragon Ball Z, though. Like, PS2 versions. Oh, man, I love Dragon like, Ball Like, I love Z. those because they follow the actual storyline. But I can't get into Xenoverse. Like, Xenoverse 2. Oh, I, I, I didn't play that. First the first one was fun. Like, I remember making... The best thing about that game was you could make characters. And like, I remember making, like, a... I used Freezer's race and made Iron Man. And oh, that was just so much fun. But besides that, I haven't really gotten to the new ones. And I got into the beta, or the Alpha 4, the one coming out. Oh, like, yeah, it's like... It's real, like, Marvel Capcom-y. Yeah. That one. I got was, into it, the, it, was it all right? It, it was, was pretty fun. fun. It was hard, though. Yeah. It was hard. Because well, isn't there, like, three things... That, there's, like, three people attacking at once or yeah, some, some shit. Yeah, some shit. So... I still remember, yeah, going back on the childhood stuff, though, like Crush Gears as well. The what? Crush Gear, or like little motorised vehicle. No. I reckon no, you no, definitely, if you no. saw you, if I saw it, I probably would know. Yeah, I guess if we saw it, yeah. Right, yeah. Like, it was like Garuda Phoenix. Oh, that, that rings a bell. It was like, Zoids was cool. Zoids was Zoids fucking lit. Yeah. Yeah, God, was, man, Ben got into them. What was so the main bad. character that Zoid called? Um, Liger Zero. Yeah, I could, oh, I could still remember how awesome it was. When, um, like, they would just go into that, like, shell thing, like, that snail yeah. thing, and then he'd just transform, like, he'd get the freaking things taken off him, things put onto him again. Like, that shit's awesome. Like, oh, that great. shit is really that awesome. Thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben had so many of them, man. Yeah, that, uh, they're okay. Like, was it, I can't remember, I think I'm pretty sure it was in primary school, like, that Dinosaur King show. Do you remember that one? I remember that. That was pretty cool. That was mm. something different. That was cool. Do you remember that? That dinosaur show? Yeah. Where they would like... Um, I can't remember how they caught dinosaurs. One of the, oh, that show. Freaking hell. I forgot yeah. about that show. What's it called? <laughs> Butters the Martians. Yeah. Oh, I remember that show. Early in the I used to be on Channel 7. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> Same as, um, do you remember Stray Sharks? It's on the back a lot. Nah. It was just like normal people who like then turned into like sharks. Uh, it was sort of like a, it was sort of like, I guess in a way, like a little bit of a rip off of like, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Was it that says like some mad show? scientist and then be like, Street Sharks. Like, I don't know, there's some shows like back in the early 2000s where I'm like, I can't remember if it was a dream or was that like a real show. So like, there's a show that used to be on ABC where did, like this person would turn to goo, and like it was just. Did you ever get into that Ace Lighting? Yes. Show? Dude, I, I was, loved it. I watched about. I watched that recently, like the first ten episodes, yeah. but the quality is so shit, so you can't like binge it. I remember yeah, Ace Lighting on YouTube. I, I always wanted to get the Game Boy version of like the game. Oh yeah. But I, was I was gonna buy. It. I was gonna try and look for the PC version. Yeah. Oh. But um, no, I can't. Yeah, I can't be screwed. <laughs> Apparently it's really Very shit. Very I remember from going to ABC shows, just Wild Thornberries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rog- Rograts was on... I ABC. Was it as well? Yeah. Oh. I think it was, yeah, ABC slash Channel 10. And good old... Um, I remember Franklin the Turtle. Yeah. Was, he was a boss. Yeah. But yeah, Ace Lightning though. Ace. Like, that shit's great. Oh, God, Ace Lightning. Like all the... I can't remember like how that show film. ended. Um, that's what I always hated I think about because I read up they were because they done they completed the first season they finished yeah. the second they were actually going to be renewed for a third season yeah, yeah. but um, the company the production I forget the production company but they're like nah we're not going to do yeah. it anymore because yeah wasn't there a female version of Ace yeah there was and there was like a dude with like I don't know you could kind of say it was like a wheelchair yeah I remember that guy and, and like he was, he was dude. lightning knights god that shit's awesome God, that's so good. And, like, there was the, um... The villain in Season 2 was pretty scary at the time, though. Like, he was that, um... Op- no, no, he might have been Octopus. The guy with the tentacles. Yeah, the tentacles. Yeah. And, like, he's... You know how, like, the villains, like, they transformed Don't into, like, a carnival object? Yeah. Like, he was the yeah. Ferris wheel thing? God, that guy was scary. That was, like, a lot of kids' shows, though, back in the day. They, these were the shows that would actually, like, Freaky. race home. And what? Freaky on ABC. You remember that show? Freaky. Yeah. I think so. And there was like that, fuck, I still remember like that one episode where like this kid, he was wearing a motorbike helmet and they were like, take off the helmet. He's like, no, I don't want to. And yeah. some kid like literally like, and there was a face on the back of his head and it's like, ah, and I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, that was, just, uh, was that, that was, that show used to be on like exactly before six, didn't it? I yeah. Swear, like five. Oh, yeah, and then like, I went to like ABC News. Oh, that shit was amazing how we were like, like, we knew what time that would be on and yeah. so we just race home. In front of the TV before Dad got home to watch the news. Yeah. Was it best to game on? Because there used to, yeah, because there didn't used to be any kids' channels on at the time. Like, I always was hoping Because back then it used to just be like literally like ABC, SBS, yeah. and just the five channels. Yeah. Kilobyte was his name. Kilobyte, yeah. Because I, I remember on Channel 10, um, Dad, you know, be eating tea or something, and I would just, you know, be watching The Simpsons. I was hoping, praying yeah. to God, he would not come in because he would switch the channel. Yeah. Of the news. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons till like. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons till like grade. I think I was. I'm not the only one. I think a lot of people were like banned from watching The yeah, Simpsons for some it's, reason it's, 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 till like grade three or four. It's funny. God, that was good. What? Was? Um, fucking The Simpsons when it was like a thing. Yeah, oh, back in the day. But like the one thing I hate about like kids shows back, like you know, back in the olden days. Which was ages ago now. Um, I had a, like, especially like Toaster TV, they always did this. Where they would, like, play a show for, like, like, they'd play, let's say it's, like, season one. <coughs> they'd play the first half episodes, and then they'd just get a new show. Yeah, and then you'd yeah. have to wait, like, four months for that show to be played again. Yeah. And then they would go a little bit further. They'd go three quarters of the way, and then you'd have to wait. And you'd have to wait, like, another year, and then it would play the whole season. It was really weird how that worked out. Because they, like, they literally did that. I don't know how, but they literally played... Like, it must be licensing or something like that. Must they were, they did not play full seasons of shows. I remember Totally Spies. Yeah, that was yes. a good show. I remember that... Um, I think you and me and Steve were talking about it. It was just like... It might have been like Koji Yoko or something like that. Koji Yoko, yeah, I remember. And like, where they would go from like... That was like, such a different show. It, was, it would go from like 2D... To 3D. To 3D, yeah. I remember that. Oh, I used to hate that show. Because it was so and weird. And then it got into it, yeah. And then it got into it. When it got more action-packed. 
That's what with Digimon. Name. The first season of Digimon was like, yeah, uh, Digimon was good. I s- yeah, I still got my like my Digimon. Um, did you buy Steam? Yeah, like the caring. Fuck, that's worth a lot of money too. They're yeah? like expensive as fuck on eBay. Just gonna have to raid your house, you. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think I still got it somewhere. I know. I think there's a uh, yeah. That that um that Digimon game on PS4 was so sick though. Oh, Cyber Digi Sleuth. World one. Yeah. I think it's either it might be Digi Story. Oh. Because okay. I know there's two different ones. Like Digi Worlds more. World. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Digi Story is more like story. Yeah, mm-hmm. that makes sense. <laughs> but like with um like the story mode though, like it's really there's no English subtitles. So you can't get like that's probably the you can't get full obsessed with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's some really weird like, a, like Japanese shit in it. Like I'm fairly sure there's like a pedophile, literally mm. in the game, because <laughs> like you're a kid and you're mm. like a detective. And, like I literally like I'm not lying. There's like a pedophile in that game, and like the, he's a cop, so it's just like you know. It doesn't shock me. Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> But like it's yeah, like gameplay wise, it's really like Pokemon, but like Digimon. Yeah, Digimon, <laughs> are like awesome. I actually rate it. I actually probably had more fun with that than any Pokemon game ever. Which I need to look into that game because there's a PS PlayStation style on at the moment as well. Oh, is there? Yeah, so I might look into that because I think there's a sequel out. But nah, you need to get in the PS. When are you gonna get the PS4? Four. Easy. It's like yeah, because I all. All, all the guys I work with, you know, they got PS fours and they're all, you know, yeah. saying like they're all into like the CODs and I'm like I'm missing out. And you really are. Yeah. Oh, I mean, a, a few of them still have the PS three, so I can, you know, still do, you know, play the games with them. But um, I don't know. You're not necessarily missing out on the game. You're missing out on like this, like yeah, the, the social uh, side, the social side of it. The games, I don't know. Like to me, like I still, still enjoy jumping on and all that. But like, I get bored like so yeah, quickly. Now. It's not like I, you I can't go before, for like I can't four, play five for hours, hours on ends anymore. Neither. Like unless it's with mates and like you're obviously like having yeah. banter like in the party chat and all that. A lot of the time after like an hour and stuff, like I get bored. I think the last game I fully got invested into was Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, yeah. did you like, finish that? I never ended up like no, and I can't like I find it so hard to go back to a story game once you stop playing a story yeah. game for so long. Like to try to pick it back up, I'm like, Ugh. it's just like going back to a. Uh, you should try if you have you probably wouldn't have played it. Do you know Skyrim? Yeah. Have you played that? I I had a mate and I used to go over to his place and play it. Cause that like that shit's so like that's probably the. Might not be the last game I've been obsessed with, but like, like that shit's so good. Like, and you can't go like, so you might spend like a month playing with that like one character, and you might have a year off, and you cannot go back to that yeah. character. I know Seeks can do it, that bloody wizard. I can't do it. But I can't do it with any game. So much this thing too. I haven't touched that in ages now. Yeah. Have any of you guys played the new Assassin's Creed? I've got it. You've got it. I oh, do you? Yeah, I've got it. Oh fuck. Um. I, I played it for like maybe twenty minutes. Yeah, you like it's, it. It's pretty fun. I'll get, I'll get to it eventually. I just have an um. I think the Egypt setting is pretty cool. Like, Egypt like setting sick. Thing. But I'll eventually get it. But I think the last, the only Assassin's Creed I ever played till the end was Assassin's Creed Three. <laughs> yeah, a cool game. Because I just don't like the settings of the, all the other ones. <laughs> like the pirate one, maybe that black flag one. Yeah, maybe yeah. the English one. But I don't give a shit about like Italy and like. Ancient times, stuff like that. I just ugh. See, I remember AC two playing that as Ezio, and then like, I just fucking remember like the Mario kept just like it's me Mario, and I was like, oh no way. Yeah. And Leonardo da Vinci's there as well, <laughs> like making new uh, gadgets for you. Okay, so I want to get a Switch. I kind of intended to get one, but I, have you got like a Wii? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. I think Watch everyone it has it a Wii. Yeah. yeah. I, I just yeah. think like after that, it's like. Yeah. I don't know, I can just, it'd be kind of, I'm, when it goes down, like, majorly in price, when it drops by, like, 100 to 150, I'll, no, nah, <laughs> I definitely yeah. won't. No, you don't reckon? But, like, yeah, because I played it with my cousins the other day, like, we're playing Mario Kart, and it's, like, it's really fun. It is fun, it's pretty good. It's really expensive, though, yeah. like, that's the only thing, it's just, like, I don't know, which would I rather spend money on, like, 500 bucks? Yeah, because isn't it, you can either play it on that small screen yeah, or, or, or portable. Or yeah. It's like you spend five hundred bucks on like a Nintendo Switch, plus games, or do you just invest that five hundred dollars 
you know, like into the computer. Yeah, like sure, upgrade sure. parts or something like that. So it's like, which would I do more? I mean, Probably it, computer. It's like a mate of mine. He um, oh he he went to that PAX, and he bought a three thousand something dollar laptop. I'm like, mate, yeah, that, people that, are and, crazy. And, and he just bought a brand people, new Holden HS what? something. <laughs> Is it an Alienware laptop? Yeah. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, but, um, yeah, that's, I don't know. People, like, just love that shit, though. They do. Like, maybe not necessarily. That's a bit too much to pay for a laptop. I would, per, like, personally, anyway. But, like, I don't know. Like, I think the next thing I'll do with my computer, like, I think my computer ended up being, like, I think we're, like, $200 over budget. But the parts, apparently, well, uh, not apparently, like, the parts I ended up getting, they were like, um, like there was a big difference between like this version and that version. So that's the only reason I like justified the hundred dollar difference. Yeah. So that's what I ended up getting. But I think what I'm gonna do next, like I don't know if it's compatible or not, but I might go for a dual monitor mm-hmm. setup in my computer. That'd be cool. Because that'd be sick. Even like, because I remember um, someone I used to coach with, he showed me his like, tri- like he was really, he's really into PC gaming. And like he showed me his triple monitor setup, yeah. and like it was so sick. Like he'd um, he showed me GDA like racing, and um, like it just looks so sick. Having yeah, like fully immersed. Yeah, it's fully immersed. It's like, damn, that'd be sick. But really, it'd be really um, the only issue would be um, be really demanding. Oh, on power as well. Three, oh, yeah, three monitor power. setup. Like a lot of YouTubers do that. Yeah. But a lot of them, it's like one monitor is purely for like them like gaming yeah. or whatever. Another one, so like they, their Twitter's like just always open, so yeah, they can just yeah, reply. Yeah. And then another one's usually just YouTube. Yeah. So they sort of like watch videos in between. That's a lot of processing. Yeah, no shit. It's like, it's like fuck. Like. Yeah. And especially like, um, yeah, it's just like it's, it's not even worth it for like me mm. personally. Like it, it uses the power, like the yeah. uh, parts yeah. up. I mean, nothing really, especially like now, like electronically, like nothing will last forever. Correct. So, you may as well just make it, you know, last as long as possible. Yeah, you got to make sure you're not Look at now. But I got Battlefield 4, though. For PC? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, it was five yeah. bucks. Oh, what? It, look, it, looks, it should look real. Yeah, I'm just playing medium settings because that's like. Yeah, like enough. That was my like, default. Yeah. <laughs> like, I could probably jack it up to ultra, but I just Fuck. don't. Yeah. Because the frame rate's just it's like 127. On medium, so I could probably I'll probably put it up to, um, large or yeah, whatever it is. I'll yeah, yeah. <laughs> what comes up to medium in graphics settings? Uh, right, let's just ignore that. Let's move on from that. Do you know? So wait, what does it go? I don't know. What comes first? <laughs> like medium, high, low, low, medium, high. There we go. And ultra, yeah. I might I might put an ultra tonight and see how it goes. Play in low. It's just two forty p. Yeah. But I was playing like a game this morning, and like um, it's just really hard to like because in Battlefront two, like I've been playing that as a sniper. Oh really? It's really fun to snipe in that game. And I tried it in Battlefield four. The ball drop and stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's just like, and especially with the sniper, I don't know how to unlock weapons in that game. So, <laughs> like the sniper I had, like maybe oh, if man. I kept trying, like I'd have to grind out to get a good weapon. But like the the default sniper is just really um, it's not one shot kill. Unless it's a headshot, but that's yeah. really hard to get. Okay. So I ended up going back to assault rifle, and I've killed it with that. I haven't played Battlefield Four in ages. I was I was playing that for quite a bit on PS Four. Yeah, it's really fun. Like, like it's, it is. It, it's it's a good, good game fun. to like change up to and go to. Like, yeah, because I just wanted a good shooter. Like I've been on the PC. All I've been playing is this uh, Battlegrounds. Uh, that's fair enough. Occasionally, a bit of Counter Strike go. So but um. Go. Yeah, I just yeah, I just I just booted up um, Battlefield Four because it was five bucks, and this is like che- that's really cheap for like any game. Yeah, correct. Let alone but like a decent game people pick, like play, and like yeah, I just booted up like I played an awesome match before. Like, I think I got like maybe like nine kills and fourteen deaths. But, like I came third in the standings because like I don't know, especially in the server browsers, people played objective, which is good. That's pretty. That is pretty. It's not good. really that common on there, especially consoles. Like new, yeah. People never played objective, sure. especially in COD or something like that, like domination or freaking. That's legit. It's so funny that you said that. I legit played the other night. I had like fifteen caps, like ten defense. Yeah. Dropped like thirty, and then you see like the next person on my team had like three caps, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Fuck, like it's so bad. Yeah, people need to play objective. But 
That's the only um <laughs> dog woken <laughs> up. I was about to say, did you um what's the exclusive? You, oh, you the promised exclusive, me an exclusive, yeah. Easy. You promised me an exclusive um, or ask an exclusive. Well, I'm actually going to go for an edition for um, a edition. film that's acting. Gonna, yeah, that's going to be um, <laughs> shown in a, a I Trump fest. An, I knew you were an actor. Festival, so I well, got to hear back from the director and what's yeah, the well, part? No idea. I got a n- another mate who's actually an actor. He's been in quite a few films. Like, and, um, well, gonna elaborate. Well, I don't. Well, he's made like. Gangster films and oh, um, yeah, like yeah. mafia ones, and um, he's been in Neighbours as well. So he's actually getting quite up there. Was he a major character in Neighbours? <laughs> no, he was just he, he was he was just so. an I would have known. I would have known. Um, but yeah, he's mates with the director, and um, he's gonna um, get in contact with me soon. That'd be sick. So yeah, hopefully at um, get up there. at Trot Fest, did you say? Yeah. 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 I'll start small and go from there, really. Yeah, yeah. Much. That's, that's how you have to do it these days. Usually you takes over Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could picture I mean, it. well, actually, the way to go now is actually China. China? Ch- China's the, actually China? the place to go. Yeah, that that's what... When Matt Damon made The Wall, uh, oh. they, they're saying China is actually the new Hollywood. Because if you China mm-hmm. to make 400... trying to make 400 films a year. Jesus. And you I guess it's at, good to look, build up your you look portfolio. How, yeah. I you guess look, that's the key thing. And you look at Hollywood, look at how many they make here. China make, pretty much China, they finish one film, they're on to the next yeah. break. Is it, what's it in though? Like English or? Because um, that would be your only. Yeah, I, th- I think it is in English. Actually. Well, if it's in English, it'd be no yeah. issue with that. Mm, yeah, I guess um, it's, all, it's all about portfolio. It is, yeah. In like anything now. We just, just build it up. And head to China, Shanghai. Yeah, pretty much. Give us Shanghai go to three. The, the tower, mm, go, that'd be great. Like the temple's way up in the mountains, like do like a kung fu kind of one. Yeah, I could see you being like the next, the next, uh, I don't know, Seth Rogen, <laughs> Jonah Hill, <laughs> <Seth> Rogen. <laughs> appearing super bad too. <laughs> oh. Diary of Matt Hughes, oh, that'd be great. Oh, that's the one thing I hate about um, Netflix. I always take down those good movies. Yeah, no Netflix shit. is changing a lot now. And, um, yeah. Clone Wars is still up for us, thank fuck. Yeah, Clone Wars. That, that got taken down? On it was arena. going to get taken down. Oh, really? I think they, um, I don't know if it, like, I remember they said that it was going to get taken down, like, um, in, like, three months or something, like, ages ago, and, like, there's a massive outrage about it. Like, people were mad, so they're like, oh, keep it on, man, jeez. Like, if you, I've watched all the episodes, though, so it's just, like, yeah, it's hard to go back to... Yeah. Shit like that. Like, have you watched Clone Wars before? Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch season six? No. Um, I stopped at, I think it was season four. Yeah. Se- season five is pretty good. Season four was great as well. I mean, did, I... you, did you watch it to when Darth Maul returned? Yeah. 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 That was cool how he came that, out. That, that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Have you watched a bunch of Rebels? No. No, that's one I have been meaning to actually look into. Yeah. Is the Star Wars Clone Wars, is that between episodes is two and three? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, no, but I was, like, I was saying, but like, you know, like some, like, it's, um, I don't know, like sometimes it doesn't really like tie in or like it's completely like different, like. Yeah. Because if that's, like, so it's so just like end up running away, basically. Yeah. She comes back in Rebels. Um, does Rebels take place? In between episode three and four. Why does she never make it into like the live, live action then? Well, because like, sense. it would have been it was filmed before, <laughs> yeah, no, and she was made after. So, uh-huh. I reckon that I reckon they will. Um, They'll probably make a solo film of it. That would be cool, but I reckon what they should do, or well, not they sure what they should do, because like, I like the prequels, but I reckon they should. Um, I reckon they should probably remake all six episodes. Yeah, you reckon? To go along with. Like or well, not necessarily remake like scene for scene but like add more stuff in mm. to like these little like little parts like you know with the um like the anniversary edition where they added in like those little scenes like New Hope they've yeah, got like yeah. Han Solo and Jabba yeah. the Hutt talking it's like I don't think that was in the original no, what, no. film so like they should add shit in like that just to explain <coughs> like, I think there was heaps of scenes that they hadn't put in yeah and then they, you know each year 
no Star Wars gets older, they do like you know a special edition yeah. of it, and they just add a few yeah. more things into it. Like, are you came for the Last Jedi? I am. Yeah. Did you like the Force Awakens? I did. I, I I like how it got a new like a new director and like a new spin on it as well. Mm. It, for me, it, it it was a lot darker. Yeah. And that that that's what I loved about the this new trilogy they're doing. As well, I liked Kylo Ren in the helmet. When he took the helmet off, I was like utterly disappointed. Was so like, was oh. I. Yeah, I like the. Fo- I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough one, the Force Awakens, because I, I liked it because it was Star Wars. But it's just like I, don't know, I didn't like it as much as like the prequels, Trailer. which makes me <laughs> really weird. What was your thought on that Rogue One? I hated that shit. Yeah, that was the worst it. Star Wars movie. Really? Did you like it? Yeah, I hated I that. Yeah. <laughs> it. It's so like. The only reason I probably hated it so much because it was so unnecessary. Like, we don't need to know like, we knew how they got the plans. Or how they knew, got the plans. Yes, you knew what happened anyway. It would've been, that would have been good for like a Rebels ending. So like, I think season four of Rebels is on now. Yeah. Like on Disney. And um, I, I'm not sure how they're going to like finish the season. But what they should have done, they should have used that, Rogue One, as a way to finish the Rebels. Rebels season four. Instead of having a whole other spin off movie. It's hand size spin off movies next year. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. So that, that's another pointless movie that no one wants. Like, literally, no one wants that. Because, <laughs> like, you, you find out his background yeah. in, the first, in, in the original series. That's what I hate. Like, you don't. Like, and I'm not against. Like that. Yeah, something like that. I think that might be a rumored one. Or Obi Wan oh, Kenobi. Okay. But it's just yeah, like, I think it's an Obi Wan Kenobi one that they're thinking about doing. That's what I kind of hate about Marvel. In a way, like um, just wait. Is that? Oh, my sister. Hey, Dad. We're doing our podcast. How's it going? There you go. You You make a small appearance, but um, (laughs) what we're talking about? Star Wars. Oh yeah, so (laughs) we're talking about like the back, kind of the um, oh the backstory of characters. So like, I prefer um. Actually, I'd, like, I wish they would cover that shit in, like, uh, TV shows or, like, you know, YouTube specials. Like, there's no need to kind of mm. have a whole two-hour movie dedicated much, to, like, yeah. Han Solo's background. It's just like, why? <laughs> like, there's episodes... They're milking the franchise. Yeah, That's exactly. What doing. At Disney, they, yeah. they just want the money. They should, um... Yeah, um, yeah they should just reserve it for, like, the main story. And then fill all the other stuff out with, um, like, 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 a web like or books or something yeah. like that. I think that's what the, like, I remember someone um, mentioned, like, how, like, one of the complaints about, like, the prequels was, like, all the politics in it, which didn't really fuss me at all. But, like, I know a lot of people hated that crap. Yeah. So it's just like, and then he, he suggested, like, if George Lucas still wanted to talk about that stuff. Just leave it. Or like, go about it in a book or something. On space politics. <laughs> or something like that. That's what they should do. But, um... But do, you, do you mind one spoiler for Last Jedi? Yeah. Alright, so you know Snoke. Yeah. I was watching... Oh, it might not even be a spoiler. But, like, um, I was watching a YouTube video the other day. And some guy, um... Talks about how Snoke is... Like, from the Old Republic... It's so, like, you know, that yeah, kind of that. timeline. Yeah. yeah, apparently he's from there, and, like, he was put to sleep, and then he's awoken, which might link him, I don't know, it might link him with The Force Awakens. Maybe. But, um, yeah, so it. he's, like, woken up. Apparently he woke up when the Emperor died, because then, like, there was no other threat to him. So ever since then, like, he's been gaining power, and apparently he might, um... I don't know, he might, like, this is just, it's not even a spoiler, it's just a prediction. Like, like theory. Yeah, like, he might take Luke Skywalker's force power, and that might bring him to full strength. Oh, so then yeah. episode nine would be about taking out Snoke full power, which yeah. would be pretty sick. Like, I would get behind that. Yeah, I would. And Snoke actually is yeah. Mace Windu. Yeah, so hopefully. Spoilers. But like, I don't know, even this backstory, like, that'd be cool. Yeah. And apparently the reason they want to link him back to the Old Republic is because, you know, there's episode 10, 11, 12 announced? No. Well, there, do you know that? No, oh, that's... Oh, there was. No, that's yeah. to me. There, yeah, episode... Yeah, episode... Um, 
I don't know, is it Ryan or Ryan Johnson? It's it, like it's spelled R I A N. It's yeah. I think it's Ryan. Like the dude is directing Last Jedi. Yeah, yeah he's uh, Disney's making him or giving him like the uh, the powers. To like... Yeah, create a new trilogy. Oh, because really? apparently they liked his like mythology yeah. about like all the Jedi backstory and stuff. So apparently, yeah, that trilogy wow. might will be about the Republic, which would be sick. It would be cool. Which would be sick. Like that's all I want in life. I don't want kids. I just want an old Republic episodes <laughs> trilogy. All about that. Cool. Because I, I when yeah, seeing Thor four three. Was um because I I refuse to watch any more trailers for Star Wars because like go on me not screen. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, it's not mine. Yeah, because it's so yeah. yeah it's, I've done it that. It's it's um <laughs> for the midnight screening. I was like, I just want to go into it like, and, yeah. and just everything happened. Just be like, holy fuck, that was sick. And then I saw that trailer before Thor three, and I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like it got me keen as fuck for it, but at the same time I was like, I don't oh, want to see this. Yeah. Like, Ah, yeah, this and there's like little things on YouTube where you see like the title, and the co- title's kind of like a spoiler as well. Yeah. So it's like, why would you post In that the trailer? That though, title? Like it almost looks like Ray Kite goes up to Kylo. Yeah, to I, be like I need help with yeah. like, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? But you know how they cut that. Yeah, you true. would know, especially yeah. how they cut trailers. Yeah. No, like, yeah, but I, I was like, oh. But um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I reckon, I reckon she will turn to the dark side probably. Which would be sick. Do you really? Yeah, I reckon she'll take Dark Side. Yeah. It'll happen. Yeah. And then we might want to take the Dark Side from them again. Or something. Yeah. Something like that. It'll be some cringy storyline. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's like, I'm, I was pretending to be evil this whole episode. Yeah. But I don't know. Did you like the prequels? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, I, I don't know, understand. I'm... Like, I physically cannot understand the hate for the prequels. Like, <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, uh, the, part, is the, uh, the fact that he killed Han Solo. Who did? Oh, Carl Ren. Yeah. yeah. Which means mm. it, um, Carrie Padme, not Padme. Princess Leia. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> is that prequel? So, um, yeah. she'll die in this episode because obviously she's also passed away in real life. So it'd just be easy to cut yeah. the character out completely. Yeah, exactly. Like the prequels, though, they just had so many awesome moments. I loved Qui Gon Jinn. Like, I yeah, genuinely yeah, liked was, him. Do you like Attack the Clones? I, that's my yeah, favourite one from the one. prequels. Yeah. That's probably my favourite Star Wars movie, to be um, honest. Well, Only because that scene where all the Jedi versus the droids. Yeah, was that sick. Is just the greatest. I love Jango Fett as well, though. Like, I yeah. thought he was, like, so cool. Like, someone, I remember in an article, and, like, someone described, like, the last 30 minutes of, like, Attack of the Clones as, like, the best. Like arguably the best thirty minutes of like any action film like ever. Yeah. So that would put it like you know like Terminator and shit like that. And this is like that's not like that over it's not a big over exaggeration if you think about it because like it's so sick like the scale wise. That's what I hate about um kind of Battlefront two. Like that's only that's like it's a fun game like don't get me wrong but like I played Battlefield like uh, yesterday and just like. Man, why can't they give us a Star Wars game like like exactly like this? Yeah. Like the scale's too small in Battlefront Two, I feel like. And that's mm. what like it should be. Like even in Clone Wars, like you see some pretty like just this yeah, it's so awesome. Have you played um on the topic of Battlefront Two, have you played any of the campaign or Yeah, I, just... com- I completed it. Oh really? Yeah. Was it alright? Because, like from what I've heard that people like it starts off not bad but then it like goes kinda uh I don't know, it depends from your point of view, really, because I was the opposite. I thought it started out shit. Oh, okay. And then when my brother said she turns to the rebellion, I was just like, I'm in. <laughs> so I started playing it there, and I loved it. Yeah. I don't know, like, some people, yeah, I don't know. Personally, I just like that whole, um, you know, rebellion type of thing. It's it's fun. I just, I just prefer to... But I can understand how people got mad about that. Realistically, though, like, Souls fans are, like, probably the hardest. Like, yeah. you can't win, like, either way. Yeah, they're crying. Yeah, they're freaking sucks. This is like, do you ever lurk on Reddit? No. Do you? Every now and then, but I don't use Reddit oh, that often. Reddit's so... Like, Reddit's... I love Reddit, but, like, I don't like it. Yeah. Reddit's such a shit place. Oh, it's pretty... It's just full of just gooses trying to, like, get up votes and stuff like that. Like, if you find, like, a good subreddit, mm. like, small number, like, there's a good, um, 
college football on PS3 one. And, like, there's only, like, 2,000 people. But, like, no one posts, like, kind of, you know, attention-seeking stuff. Whereas, like, you go to the front page of Reddit, like, all the things on there are so... Oh, it's cringeworthy. Like, it's just like, oh, my kid was doing a backflip randomly. It's just like, yeah, sure he was. (laughs) Yeah, no shit. It's like, it's shit like that that I hate. But even even Facebook. Do you remember the the first time I used Reddit? I still remember going to their... I'm not, I'm not sure if it was like the subreddit under like WTF or some shit or oh yeah stuff like that I don't look at that I, know, I went on that one and I just remember clicking on like the first thing and it was like legit a person jumping off a building and like they just died and I was like what the fuck <laughs> like straight up I was like holy crap See, like, if I actually shit like, like that I'd be into it like genuinely I was like genuinely like holy fuck like I just watched someone yeah. like die I was like that's pretty fucked yeah. up like, it's not a great place <laughs> Oh, you go, like, the bigger the, you go on there for though. Yeah, the bigger the um the sub count, the worse it gets. Like yeah. the gaming one, like that's that's just a shit storm. Call of Duty Red is not too bad actually, because like a lot of the time like the developers and all that are on there and they're asking for feedback. Yeah. So if, like, yeah, if you go on there for like info, which mm. I which is what I do, like I don't really post anything. Like it's good, but like people go on there just purely for the sake Taking of just. The person, yeah. Oh, yeah, like that, just one. getting like uh, attention. It's like, why do you want people's like what? What do you? What satisfaction do you get by getting like sixty thousand randoms yeah. liking your comments? It's like, it's it's literally just a number on a screen. Correct. <laughs> so it's just like, do you understand, Yuzi? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I, oh, you do. I've got a mate who does it. Really? Yeah. Does what? Like, like goes on comments and shit like that, and it's like, mate. That that's your opinion. Just keep your opinion like to yourself, because then there's always going to be someone on there who's going to just have yeah. a dig at you. And oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Yeah, it, it it does make fun though. Like sometimes when I get bored on like a just a week night or something yeah, like you, that, you, you just go on and and it's just good to go on the comment section. You just hit up new, so your arguments just like fresh, <laughs> and then you just like you just arc them up. I only ever do it for the people who like you can it's obvious that like what they posted is fake or something like that it's just like that's when I get full troll mode <laughs> but I don't do it like I usually try to be constructive and like post but I'm actually <coughs> posting something constructive but yeah besides that Reddit steer clear and even in, do you still use Instagram? I still do but like I don't like yeah hey, we were talking about it before yeah <laughs> Social media in general. I still post on it and stuff, but like, it's not, it's more now just to be like, what I'm doing, I guess, yeah. or whatever. Like, I went to the beach on Sunday and I posted like a photo of the beach on my Instagram, just because uh, I just had, it was like a good Sunday and all that. Yeah, yeah I miss the early days of uh, Instagram. Yeah, I mean, Like, when people like, wouldn't even post, or like, people would post like captions, but it would be like, you know, like a two word caption. Yeah. God, those are the days. Everything's, everything gets ruined by, like, you know, large amounts. Of, yeah, the masses. Ugh. Particularly Instagram. <laughs> Particularly Instagram. Oh, they've sold it out now anyways. What was that? They've sold it out now anyways. Oh, yeah, to Facebook. Like, yeah, and, like, Facebook and, like, all that. Just fucking mm. ads everywhere these days. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah. Well, like, the perfect thing I do with my Facebook, I don't know if you do it, or you probably neither would you probably do it, but, like, just unfollow everyone. And then, like, you just go to your news... And don't like any pages, obviously. And this, your news feed's just, like, blank. It's just, like... It's so good for, like, when, um... Because what they do on Facebook, I swear, like... They put the most, kind of, attractive posts. Mm, not necessarily they do. physically attractive, but, like, colourful, stuff like that. They put that first. And they kind of lure you in to yeah. scroll down. That's yeah. when, like, that's you're more it. likely to add... Or click on ads and shit like that. With my ones, it's like there's nothing to scroll, so it's just like usually I never really stay on Facebook for longer than like. See, that's what reply to a message or like yeah. I might. I usually occasionally like every few days I'll just like you know what's Yuzi been up to, like and then I'll just get off <laughs> something like that. But yeah, I think that's the that's the only reason it's kind of See, face- usable for me. Fa- Facebook is more like the news; they only show you what you want to see. Yeah, and um. Like, because obviously you put your date of birth in and shit like that when you sign up. 
and then they can determine what your generation likes. As you said, like, yeah. like something at the top is like all colourful and that. Yeah. And that, that gets you to scroll down. They get you to like all these pages and yeah. all that. That's what they do. That's, um, yeah. That's pretty screwed up, though. Like, I, it's so weird. Like, um, like you, we were talking about it in class earlier this year, or like a few weeks ago. Like, how, um, like you randomly just click on a website or something like that. Or even just like um, type it in like even in a messenger. Like I'd message you about like, oh, what's a good mic to buy? And literally like ten seconds later, you scroll in your ad feed, and there's like Mark. ads for mics. This yeah. is like, fuck, that's so screwed up how they do that. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. screwed up. Like it, I guess it's not necessarily like the worst thing. Because I mean, like, if you can resist it, I'm sure. I know I can. <laughs> like I don't really care too much when I look at ads but it's just like I feel sorry for the people who are like impulse mm. buy really easy <laughs> that's the people who are really screwed up oh god so how's the uh, how's the length going hour and a half man hour and a half yeah. shit this is a long this is a long one. Oh, you just we're gonna end it just keep talking man just keep, keep talking yeah, just cut it together it's easy to do post production alright All right. so it's the final topic Oh, no. yeah. See, then just I don't know. What do you mean, favorite movie? Actually, that's what I had. What's your favorite movie? Just the, just the Dur- Steven Spielberg Jr. Favorite movie? God. Um, it's a tough one for me as well. It is a tough one. Like I. Well, it's favorite it, movies. Movies. Well, if it had to be martial arts, I would say a Bruce Lee one. Like you can't go past martial arts. <laughs> that was so <laughs> random. <That was, laughs> like, you can't go past Bruce Lee. Uh, yeah, right. like, if it's no, like I don't think we're talking about martial arts here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like, I'm saying like the like the, yeah, genre, get, like the genres. Um, I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm a favorite movie. Like yeah. I've got like a few that I enjoy watching like over and over again. But like, like dodgeball. I, I I do like the Hangovers, but then yeah, again, it good. depends on what one as well. Hangover. I didn't. I've never. I've watched Hangover two. I think I watched that once ages ago. So I can't really comment on that. So then. I think everyone was great. You talk about sci-fi as well. Sci-fi is a hard one. Yeah. I think, um, off the top of my head, probably Dodgeball's a good movie. Yeah. The Water Boy, Adam Sandler. Oh, um, yeah, Dodgeball, super bad. Uh, Never sure. Back Down, Too Fast, yeah. Too Furious, and Attack of the Clones. Like, yeah. off the top of my head. Like, they're the ones I can just watch over and over again and, like, mm. not get bored. Have you seen the two sequels to uh, the Never Back Downs? No. I, didn't, I knew there was a second one. I didn't know there was a third. Yeah, the third, the third one's good. I don't know as well. Well, we can narrow it down. Obviously, yeah. favorite MCU movie. Oh, oh it's a tough one as well. No. <laughs> it's a tough one as well. Is, I mean, I do like um, Avengers: a- Age of Ultron. Oh yes, he's like younger. You're gonna say that. I, I agree. Like, I like that one. That one's awesome. So, um, do you like Hulkbuster? Yeah. Hot <laughs> no, Bus so is the sickest. Oh. So my favorite one would probably just be the first Iron Man, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty like, good. I really I mean, enjoyed that. that, that, that like, that's that's where it all started. Yeah, I was talking to someone from class the other day, and like, um, I think we agreed. Like, I think she said, like, or I said, and like, um, there's like, there's not really a bad Marvel movie, if you think about it. Like, I haven't seen Hulk, no. but like. Out of the ones that are like, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The usual, the main ones. Like, none of them are overly, like, bad. No, they're not. Which is good. Like, I like them all better than DC. They all sort of tie in with one yeah, another exactly. too, which helps. Which is, yeah. So I'm probably going to have to say Age of Ultron or Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. That was a great movie, yeah. Guardians. That's probably... That probably is my favourite, actually. Or Age of Ultron. Like, a lot of people love Civil War. I was, like they Civil, I was forget the Civil Wars Captain America movie purely because yeah. of like how involved everyone else was. I love all the Captain America movies. They're so good. Like one's amazing. Mm. Two's epic. Three's just. Uh, are you going for a good word or? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to. Go. It's well, it's, what's well, better than epic? Legendary. <laughs> yeah. yeah, legendary. <laughs> yeah, Civil yeah. War though. Infinity War though. I reckon that's literally going to be like the greatest movie of all time. It's good cool because that's gonna be in two parts. As yeah. Well. So that's. Uh, be... I think they um. But it'll be three hours. They long. changed that. I think. Did they change it? So I think they uh, original was gonna be Infinity War Part One and Two. Yeah. But I think they changed it to Infinity War and then. The fourth Avengers movie. Oh okay. So, yeah. Which is I don't know. I, apparently, I don't know. It might be spoilerish or something like that. Maybe. Because the guys, the Russos or whatever their names are. 
Oh, the guys who, because they made Civil War and Winter Soldier, I believe. So it's in good hands. Like they haven't made a bad Marvel movie. Should be awesome. Like it's gonna be so like. I reckon people are gonna clap halfway through this like the movie as soon as like um like Guardians of the Galaxy and like the Avengers meet up. I reckon people are gonna clap. Like I know I will. <laughs> I know I definitely will. I mean, imagine them all in one room. Like, yeah. All, like. You guys are the Galaxy and you got all the Avengers. And well, I remember um, the TV show was... TV show... Earth's Mightiest Heroes. They used to be on, like, ABC, like, a few years back. And, like, that was such a sick show. Like, um... And, like, the Guardians and the Avengers met in that, like, in an episode. And that was before I knew what the Avengers... Like, got, no, sorry, the Guardians were. And, like, it was so sick. So sick. I'm much, like, probably the moment, most movie... Oh, the most movie that doesn't even make sense like the movie I'm most keen for Captain Marvel isn't that uh that's not Captain Marvel I'm trying that's a female yeah. yeah that's like next year isn't it uh something like that uh, I'm yeah. interested to see like I think so with Venom they're doing yeah Venom, so that, Venom. that's that, that's but isn't it Akara isn't, isn't it going down Akara pathway I think so it's like that, that that new mutant one that's on Netflix yeah, sure, or something. Huh? That's like a horror one. That's mm-hmm. nah, I'm not interested. No. Probably the Punish is not bad actually. That just came out. Yeah, I haven't watched any of the Netflix uh, next. Yeah, Netflix I watched Daredevil. Shows. Yeah, I've heard Daredevil's not as I'm good. Pass out. I don't mind Daredevil. Yeah. I thought it was alright. I've heard Iron Fist is pretty average, same as Luke Cage. Yeah. I haven't mm-hmm. seen the Defenders. Yeah. I haven't seen that Agent Carter. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. I don't know, I've been watching a few episodes of S.H.I.E.L.D. lately. Just because there's nothing yeah. else on TV midday. God, it's I remember getting really into that, yeah. and I just stopped completely. It's pretty good. Like, it's pretty... Doesn't that tie in a bit? Or not really? Or is it it doesn't like directly a... tie... I, I don't know, actually. It might directly... Like, from the episodes I've watched, like it doesn't directly tie in, but there's, like, references to it. Oh, okay. Like, so, it indirectly ties in, in a way. Because isn't that, that agent still alive, the one that died in? Yeah, Coulson. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I think... An example is off the top of my head, like you know, again, I might be wrong, but like in Winter Soldier when Shield goes down, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it also goes down in the show. Oh okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, but I think it's hard to um, yeah, there's got to be like definitive like timeline, yeah, on how to watch all like the episodes and seasons of Marvel, because I think even Doctor Strange. I can't remember when, when that was filmed. God, that was such a good... That, I love, that was That's awesome. a very underrated Marvel movie, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Brandon hated that for some reason. Really? Yeah. I thought it was sick, because it was so different. Yeah, it, was it, it was a different type of... But, um... Film. It was... I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I'm pretty, if I remember I remember reading that. Like, that was either... I don't know, it was before the Avengers or something like that. Or after the Avengers. Yeah, Age well, Ultra or yeah, something well, like wasn't that. wasn't he after? Yeah, it's something. Sure. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. came out after yeah. but I'm saying like, oh, in, like, like in universe story, yeah. in universe like it was it might have been before or something like that I can't remember exactly mm-hmm. but I remember it was pretty screwed up but nah Marvel good times what's the time then like what's the actual time quarter past three shit damn damn you got any more topics to talk about no I'm no no not really no, I'm top of my head no I'm top of your head uh, no, you? no I haven't no. I mean I mean is he still single? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember the lady. The hot one. Yeah, I remember the lady. <laughs> the ladies' man in media. Just, yeah. Just every week, it's just like, Hughie. Who is this? The, uh, yeah, who? Got a new girlfriend? Nice. Nice. The ladies' man. <laughs> nah, I've just been focused on myself, really, you know. It's just that one to, you know, get, get a lot of special Matthews time. <laughs> oh, that's like, 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 the, like oh, I'm on social media a bit, but then you know, like when when you get into a relationship, you know, like you've got all the stress of that as well, plus like the stuff going in your own actual life as well. Yeah, you've like, got to be like, quick, Kizzy. Yeah, they're all running. They're all the good ones are going. Jesus. Like, have you seen Goblet of Fire? Yes. Have you? Yeah. You know when like um. Like Ron has to find a date for the the ball thing, yeah. And like his brother, I can't. It might be in Harry Potter or the twins. Like they force, it, like they talk to him about like um, 
oh, you better get a good one before all the good ones, good ones go. Yeah. It's just like, that is literally true for real life. Like, it is true. There's like a lot of like cool chicks that I've seen this year, but they're mm. literally all not single, <laughs> which doesn't really matter, but it's just like, they're all taken. <laughs> Every single one of them. Just tough to use it. Yeah. But then again, when I'm, when I'm working, you see like the young couples come in. And you know, there's having a fight 14, about, what, about 15. No, nah, like, like, well, not young, young, like around our age, like 20s and that. And you know, they're just, you yeah. know, like, they're having like a go at each other, like, what, yeah. like, what the boy. And it's like, hang on, how about you, like, talk more respectfully to your girlfriend and so you don't have a massive whinge about it? Yeah, true, that. Like, it's just, I guess it's just because people I mean, just most don't people know you think exist. That, most people think they're in a strong relationship for like four or five years, but then, you know, something happens and they just call it quits. Mm. Like, that's pretty true. Like these these days are hard to keep a relationship and like keep keep the relationship you know spiced up. It's 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 a bit hard. <laughs> Any advice? No, nah, I've got none at all because I have spice it. But um, don't hold back, easy. Very man. big turn of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> no, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon you see. I reckon we should ask Crowley that. Do you reckon we should get? I'm gonna try and get Crowley on the podcast. <laughs> like literally, I'm gonna get him like. Really? Come to my house? <laughs> he, would. he would. He would. I reckon he would. Oh, that's all right. Well, I suppose... Or we go to Crowley, because we've got... All we need is that. It's about three, that's three hours, 20 minutes. Oh, that's three hours, fun. That's an hour and 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, uh, an hour and... No, actually, that'd be an hour and 40 minutes now. Shit. Yeah, so, wow. It's and all right. So that's the pilot episode, I suppose, for anyone who has stuck with us. <laughs> from all of this long. But even if... You, even, if even, like... Even if you have, like, you skip to parts, whatever, you want to know how, like, this finished. Basically, yeah. Good just sort of trying things out, I guess. Just seeing if people, like, enjoy it and all that. Have, uh, we'll have more people on and stuff. Obviously, Matt, thanks yeah. heaps for coming. Nah, You'll thanks, be guys. Not thanks, like, guys. Yeah. So so if no one else wants to come on, here, you Have a recurring yeah, cast. Oh, and obviously, yeah. I suppose, I'm not, like, uh, I think we're just going to upload this to YouTube once we get around to it or yeah. something, I guess. Um, and basically, yeah, I suppose if there's any questions or whatever, like, feel free to comment them as well, and we can probably incorporate that into future episodes. Nice. He's seen and he's done that before. So, yeah, um, yeah, aside yeah. from that, cheers for listening, yeah, thanks, and guys. we'll see you in the next one, I guess, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Nice. <laughs>